Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can automate your most important Gemini prompts with Zapier. First, head over to aistudio.google.com. Click Get API Key, and then select Create API Key. Choose Gemini API as the cloud project, then click Create Key in Existing Project. Copy that key because we'll need it in just a moment. Now jump over to Zapier, click on App Connections, and add a new connection. Search for Gemini, and then select it from the results. Click Add Connection. Paste in your API key and hit continue. Your connection is now enabled. We'll use this automation to have Gemini draft social media posts for each new article that appears in an RSS feed. First, every zap needs a trigger. That's an event that prompts it to run. For our example, we're using RSS by Zapier. I'll just paste the URL of TechCrunch's RSS feed and it's all set. Now let's test the trigger to pull in some data. I'll pick this one to continue with because it seems relevant to our company's focus on AI and workflow automation. Let's search for Gemini. The event we want is send prompt. Choose the account connection you made earlier. Now you can configure your prompt. For the model, we'll use 2.5 flash for this example. System instructions let you provide background information. I'll tell it to take on the role of a social media marketing expert. For the actual prompt, write exactly what you want the AI to create. Give Gemini all of the pertinent info about the article, like the title, description, and anything else that might be helpful. Max output tokens defaults to 1024. I'll increase it to 10,000. Temperature adjusts predictability. So I'll lower it to 0.8 for somewhat more predictable, stable answers. We'll leave the other settings at their defaults. I'll click test step to send the prompt to Gemini. After a few moments, we've got a response. I'll add a new action and search for buffer. The action we want is add to queue. For the configuration, I'll choose my organization, X-Ray, and select the channel, which is our LinkedIn page. For the text, I'll enter Gemini's response. The variable for the response has a bit of an odd name. It's called candidates content parts text. I'll specify that there's no media attached to this post, and I'll make sure it creates the post as a draft instead of immediately publishing it. Now let's test this step. Zapier says it worked, so let's check buffer. There's the new draft. This is awesome. Let me add one more step with Slack. I'm just going to add a Slack message with an alert about the new draft, plus a link to my LinkedIn draft queue in Buffer. Here's what the actual message sent will look like. We'll add a filter to only generate social media posts for articles that match certain tags. Add a new step after the trigger and choose Filter by Zapier. We'll look at the Category field and see if it contains a relevant keyword like AI. The first article clears the filter since it has the right tag. The second one doesn't since there's no matching tag. That means the automation would stop right there and wouldn't waste Zapier tasks on articles we don't want to share. Perfect. 